This video is um, going to show us getting the boat up on the trailer. Uh, you can see in this picture that gantry that I built so we can put chain falls on it. And I had a uh, 30,000 pound strap that we could put underneath the boat and padded it. Uh, we paid particularly attention to being very safe. We took our time, even though there's some uh, of the uh, time lapse in this thing. Uh, and then we made sure as we jacked it up, we blocked it as we went so that in case something moved or gave, it wouldn't fall too far. Um, our very good friends, Mac and Carol, came over to assist us with getting this process done. It was a tremendous amount of help. Uh, you can see also where when we are doing the work, we pick the gantry up with the overhead uh, one-ton electric hoist, and we could position it to the front real easy. So it made moving it very simple. Um, you know, we didn't have to get real physical ourselves. We let the equipment do the work, and then we slid the trailer under and guided it real slow. Um Everything went real smooth. The only thing is, is the boat weighs more than we anticipated by 2,000 pounds. The boat came in at itself 18,000 pounds. Well, we're getting ready for tomorrow. I got one of the chain falls on the other side, a three ton chain fall <clears throat> ready. I gotta go pick the other one up tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. And there's the strap. We're getting ready to raise Papa Jay up in the air about a foot and a half so we can slide the trailer under it. So that's going to be happening manana. Pretty exciting. Thank you. 
well. Yeah, that's good. On this side. It looks good on this side. It's an inch off or so. Um, pick yours up, man. Well, the Papa Jay is seeing the light of the day. We got to do a little leveling of the trailer. I got to reposition the hitch, the receiver hitch. It's too high. I got to put it under it so I get it to ride level. This portion of the video shows uh, the engines now hung on the boat. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get any uh, videos of the process. We thought the camera was on. It wasn't. So uh, we managed to get the engines on by using the overhead hoist. It went very smooth. Put them on with a couple bolts to hold them. Uh, and then I rigged them out the following day, a couple days, actually two days later. Did the rig out on them, everything went real good. Uh, the spread on them is uh, extra wide so that we can put the uh, trolling motor in between. So uh, there's a picture in there of the team, Carol, Beck, myself, and Mac. And uh, yeah, we did a very good job of uh, being safe and getting it on the trailer and uh, having the right equipment to do this process was uh, very much paramount. But uh, big engines, 800 plus, 800 uh, pounds each. Um, you don't want to make any mistakes and uh, use caution. So we got the twin 350s hung. Mr. Mac Pageant and Carol Pageant and wife Becky. So we got them on right now. I got them bolted just temporary, but uh, I'm going to start that process. So you can see now I got the spread 26 inches further than normal. And the kicker will be right in the middle. Rigged out the uh, Suzuki uh, 350s. So you can see now if you've been watching the rigging, the fuel lines, battery lines, and the control wiring all on the loom goes down into that port there. And then that's the Optima steering, and it'll be on tomorrow putting the shafts on, the actuators on. So I think that's pretty clean. 
And uh, that little stub there is for the future uh, Suzuki 99 high thrust for the trolling motor. And that goes in the middle. And you can see <clears throat> the Suzuki's are 26 inches apart further than normal. And that's one because of the hull design. Uh, and then also they're finding, of course, the engines are running better when they're spreading them. Um, and when you're using the Optimus system for turning when they're forward and reversing independently from the brain that's tied in, you get more torque when they're spread apart. <clears throat> of course, these have dual props. But uh, Zach came by today from uh, Peninsula, Peninsula Power Sports, and we did the initial rig up. Um, plug all the plug everything in, checked everything. He put the computer on the main uh, helm port and synchronized them. We didn't start them, but we put oil in them. Tomorrow morning, we're going to fire them off. This shows the work I had to do once we did get the boat on the trailer. I put these bow receivers in. It keeps the bounce out of the trailer. And with this boat being 18,000 pounds with 300 gallons of fuel in it, and I can put more fuel uh, and water, it needed that uh, the bridle to sit in so that uh, it doesn't pound going down the highway. It works great. So I'm getting the uh, bow receiver on so that the boat, when we come in and dock, it just rides right into this bridle that I make and then there'll be fingers angled out that guide the boat into it. And I added a quarter inch plate to the side of the I-beam because I felt like it was a little on the uh, limber side. So I'm hoping I've doubled the strength, just boxed it in, it's fully welded out. All the way back to the uh, first axle there. But this will, uh, this is just put in place just now. And another biggie, I know you can't see it too well. Papa J, AK numbers. following shows that the engines are mounted and uh, we had Zach with uh, Peninsula Power Sports in Sedalton, Alaska come over to the shop and uh, he had worked with me and certified that everything uh, had been hooked up correctly and it went real smooth. Uh, he was there to perform the initial startup. Um, everything went uh, as planned, cranked up, ran. Uh, they cranked right up on the first crank, no hesitation beautiful engines uh once again thanks to the uh folks that are at peninsula power sports zach uh doing an extra effort to come over and assisting so we uh got the engines up and running hooked water to them checked and tested all the uh shifting and controls everything worked
Running Very good picture of the wife and I. Oh, yeah, I can take a picture for you. So we had uh, ACI boats in Anchorage, and uh, Brian Baker, the manager, he came and uh, certified with a tech uh, the Optimus 360 joystick steering. So this just shows a little bit of that section of it. And uh, we will see some more here in the next video. But uh, ACI in Anchorage builds uh, 32, 34-foot aluminum cats. And they put 350 Suzukis on. And they put the Optimus steering. Uh, they build great boats up there. They're uh, excellent looking, very solid, uh, well-built, good people to deal with. So we appreciate the uh, assist from uh, Brian Baker with ACI Boats. So the guys are here installing the Optimus steering. So that is the electric actuator for the Optimus. So you can see how I rigged it and made these cables come out. And 
as they turn back and forth, they got room to to rotate back and forth. I think they move about seven inches maybe from center line, if even that. 